What's up, YouTube? This video is why I would not use LS manufacturing, which is Little Shop manufacturing rear brake conversion kit for night. Uh, excuse me, their website says O2 to current Chevy GM trucks. Uh, six lug obviously because they all are but this video is exactly why I would not use this product as you can see I already have disc brakes on the back of the truck so why am I saying this in this video well it's a little late if I could have watched this video before I did it I wouldn't have done it but I'm the guy making the video so the brakes stink we're about to go in here and modify them and show you guys why all right YouTube by the magic of television we got the wheel off for you and yes, when you read the instructions from LS Manufacturer, they tell you to bend this here. And I can tell you it's about impossible. What we're going to do today is we're going to just go ahead and cut the pads. Uh, Little Shop Manufacturing was nice enough to send me a brand new pair of rotors. I emailed them about the problem. They told me that the reason why they have such tight tolerances is so that you could fit a 15-inch wheel. Uh with this brake kit which I don't understand you know these trucks didn't even have 15s they only had 16s so it doesn't make any sense they said it was for drag racing I really don't see anybody who's doing any kind of real drag racing using this brake kit it's about wimpy I mean if you're gonna do that you're gonna use a Willwood or a Bear or Brembo you're not gonna use this random kit somebody who's using this kit is somebody like me and want to put some rear wheel wheel lights or they don't like the drum brakes it looks like garbage this was more of a dress up yes I was hoping to gain some stopping power but it was really more of a dress up so I could put these wheel lights that you see all right guys so we got the pad off and it was only the outside pad correct yep. yeah it was only the outside pad that was wearing which is pretty good not too bad doesn't really want to focus there but you can see where that side was r grinding right into the rotor and that side a little bit as well you can see what we got in the background here and we're about to cut those pieces off and hope to rectify this situation all right youtube if you think it's pretty ridiculous that we had to do that, we agree with you for sure, 100%. We're going to clean these pads up, tape them off, and shoot some paint on there. That way, the steel doesn't start to rust on me. Throw the new rotors on, do the other side, and get on with our days. Well, unfortunately, the rotors look like they've been sitting around a little bit longer. I don't know how well it shows up in the video here. Could see some discoloration and something else there I don't know the cosmoline or whatever it's called dried up anyways at least they sent me some new parts this is what they should have said to do in the video to begin with is to mandatory chop off where it makes contact instead of trying to bend it it's hard to see in the video but there might be a millimeter or two of clearance but I think we solved it this is going to conclude the video of why I would steer clear of Little Shop Manufacturing Rear Brake Kit Conversion Kit for O2 Up GM Trucks. Hey YouTube, it's been a couple weeks. I put a good four or five hundred miles on the truck. And as you can tell by the brake dust here, these brake brakes are terrible. I do not recommend Little Manufacturing rear disc brake conversion for 99 up or 02 up whatever they say on their website is straight trash do not recommend it if you want to do a rear disc brake conversion on your truck like this just go to the u-pull yard and get a rear end as you can see on this side hardly any brake dust